there. Thanks for your interest in Energy Systems Engineering Technology Dash Electrical. My name is Karen Koklink. I'm a professor in Electrical and Energy Systems Engineering Technology, and I'm the Program Coordinator for Energy Systems Engineering Technology. Energy Systems Engineering Technology is known for a very high graduate employment rate. It also has interesting content. It's an uh, electrical-based program. It um, shares a common first semester for with technician program, but it also has some mechanical elements like fluids and thermodynamics um, so that you can later learn HVAC systems, building systems, energy conservation, energy management topics, and energy savings in process control equipment. The content follows uh, conventional and renewable energy um, generation and applications, and it follows Ontario's long-term energy plan. Like a lot of Conestoga programs, Energy Systems Engineering Technology is uh, very rich in hands-on labs. A significant amount of time and investment has been made to fantastic quality labs that represent real-world scenarios that you will experience connections that help us design and develop these labs. And every time you learn some content in theory, later you will go into a lab during the very same week, you will go into a lab and you will practice the theory that you learned in hands-on manner. You'll work with your peers and you'll work together on equipment. And this helps you build the knowledge that you need for when you graduate. Energy Systems Engineering Technology also has an option to enroll in the co-op stream. The co-op stream gives you valuable uh, industry experience and it's also a paid co-op. It starts after second year, but the option your first year and it's based on your first semester marks. It is a competitive entry co-op program, but it's well worth the time in taking it because of the experience you get and the, uh, you graduate with a little bit of experience on your resume as well. When you take the co-op stream, it will take you an additional year to complete energy systems. So the three-year program ends up taking four years to complete when you register in the optional co-op stream. Another highlight of energy systems engineering technology is the industry connections. Energy systems um, began as an electrical program with electrical engineering technology and uh, technician program and still shares those same industry connections and um, uh, contacts with industry partners who end up being your employers. These industry connections are really important because they help guide your curriculum. They help every semester to make sure that the curriculum you're learning is relevant and it's applicable to the jobs you will get when you're graduated. These industry connections also your graduate positions. They sponsor your final projects and they, end, they also judge your final projects. These industry connections um, provide scholarships and awards to you. And they are very excited to see when you graduate um, in perhaps to, uh, to employ some of the graduating class. So technology is that support uh, from, from industry. When you come into Energy Systems Engineering Technology, we do ask that you have a laptop computer. If you go onto the, you can Google uh, uh, Conestoga College BYOD, that will bring you to a web page that tells you some specifications of computers. We call them good, better, or best. And in Energy Systems, we're asking you to have a laptop with the requirements of better or best. Please don't come into the program with just a cell phone because you won't be able to run some of the software, for example, AutoCAD. Also on our homepage, I'm gonna ask you to please find the campus virtual tour. On the homepage, you can click visit us and a campus virtual tour. From here, you'll see a lot of really great uh, spaces that we have. We have a beautiful campus. It's called the Cambridge campus. I put a picture here for you to see a large classroom. This is the first come into energy systems. You'll have a common first semester with the electrical engineering technician and techniques program. And there will be about a hundred of you sitting in this classroom. I like to teach in this classroom. I like to teach first year. So I will see you in this room. Check out the virtual tour for some other classrooms you would be in. As you go into second year and third year, you, um, you have your classes in smaller classrooms as you divide into the different programs. I also put a picture here of a typical lab setup where you will have your industrial uh, automation equipment. Don't worry, you don't have to know what any of that is right now. We teach you as you go. Uh, but this is a tip for more like uh, groups of 10 to 15 students and you each have your workstation, you work with your professor and your peers on getting the equipment running and um, practicing what you learned in the theory classrooms. If you look at the virtual tour, quite a few of the labs actually do belong to our program. 
you'll see an ACDC motor map. An electronics lab is what you're using first year. There's a PLC lab you'll be using in second year and third year. There's an energy systems lab I would like you to check out because I like our first years to use that as a study space where you can all get together and work on assignments and learn your theory together. There's also beautiful student spaces to study, cafeteria, lounge, games room, uh, library, et cetera, at the Cambridge campus. So when you graduate, what kind of career opportunities will you have from, from energy systems and engineering technology? Well, you are an engineering technologist. You do have a very strong electrical background. So the utility and power companies are very interested in you. Specifically, you have energy in, in the name of your diploma. So energy firms, architecture and engineering firms are common employers as well. Energy consultants are often like to work. And we, some of our employers are even government agencies. Nice jobs at government agencies. Some of the titles of my students of the past are engineering technologist, project manager, and energy advisor. And I'd like to tell you some of the, um, the companies that have hired from our program. For the government jobs, we have had um, some, some at Hydro One, and Natural Resources Canada, and OPG often hire from our program. When you look at consulting firms, some popular ones are Stantec, Acon, MNE consultants. Um, when you look at the um, local distribution companies, KW Hydro, London Hydro, Energy Plus, Guelph Hydro, etc. Manufacturing plants like GM and Toyota also hire out of this program because you do have a knowledge of uh, process control as well. And a lot of electrical equipment manufacturers, for example, and electrical supplies companies such as Aztec hire from us. So that's just a list of some of the employers that have hired energy systems students. Now I get some questions quite often. I'm happy to address them. How difficult is energy systems? You will find that each topic does build upon the lasts. But if you come to class, you hand in your assessments. Those are the things that are due. You hand them in when they are due. You can easily keep on top of the content and students tend to fare very well. However, if you get behind, we do support you. If you get behind, we notice that you're behind or you can come to us for health as well as keeping you, um, supporting your well-being as you're at uh, Conestoga College. This is really important. We have a department called Student Success Services that we work very closely with. Student Success Services runs free tutoring that you can go to to get help if you're finding that you're behind in your courses or we can send you there for help and we can help you find that free tutoring. I also run a peer assisted learning study group for first year students so that you can all work with your classmates um, in an environment where we have a hired uh, upper year student, second or third year student um, to sit with you the whole time you're there uh, to, uh, to help you study together as a peer and answer questions with you. Accessibility services is there for you to help you with an individual study plan that'll help you meet your academic goals and well-being goals and work between you and your professor to make sure that your individual learning needs have been met. We also have a counseling team uh, direct yourself to uh, to help you with any of those challenges that tend to sometimes come up um, uh, as you navigate your, your academic career. Now your academic goals might be to pass or your academic goals might be to get 95%. No matter what your goals are, these uh, services are here to help you and support you. Uh, another very common question is how does co-op work? Well, co-op provides a valuable paid industry experience. It is 16 months long. It starts the spring after second year. So you'll go to first year, then you'll go to second year, and then in May you will start at a co-op with an employer. You can stay at that same employer for 16 months, or you can switch to a different employer if that's mutually agreeable between you and your employer. Conestoga helps you find the jobs. We have a co-op system for that. The students with no co-op stream, those grades are based on the first semester that you start, so they're based on September grades. We usually accept um, the, uh, usually the top around about 15 students to join the co-op stream. You can say yes or no to that. If you say yes, you are there for an additional year of schooling. Um, and the last question, what is energy systems? Well, energy systems are engineering technologists. You're engineering technologists with a strong foundation in electrical engineering technology, but you also have a unique mix of um, electrical and mechanical theory. You have knowledge of conventional and renewable energy systems. You uh, know topics um, in conservation, energy management, and building systems. So I 
like to thank you for your time in talking about energy systems. I welcome you to email me at any time. My contact is on the screen. If you email me, we can get together with it for a, um, a phone chat at any time about energy systems and whether it's right for you. Thanks very much.